Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you a brand new way on how to actually theme your iDevice. Well now technically it's not really new, I take that back. It is something that has been out for actually quite some time now. But you can fully make a complete theme on your iOS device, guys. Now, it does have a little bit of limitations because you are not jailbroken. But, I mean, you guys could go really, really far. But I'm going to be going into that later on in the video. So, I do have a couple of important things to say, guys. So, before I say those things, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you are new, support the 170 and subscribe. And now, the next thing I actually do need to say is actually important. That this app does cost money. But all of you guys should know how to get paid apps for free. If you're wondering how I got the device, because as you can see inside the video, once we get over to my iPhone, you'll actually see that it is not jailbroken. And how I got that app is actually what I winded up doing is is I went on, as you guys know, I'll know how to get paid apps for free, but I used Boomhack's Apple ID, so you guys can easily fill out the form, that's what I had to do, I had to wait about three days to get the Apple ID, and then I went and I actually did get it. So that is how you guys are going to want to get the app, I mean, there's other ways to get paid apps for free, guys, but anyways, I just wanted to make sure to get that out there. Now, there's a lot of different things that this app can actually do, so let's go ahead and jump right into this video, guys, I'll go ahead and meet you over on my iPhone. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm over on my iPhone now. The first thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm not jailbroken inside this video. So as you guys can see, that circle right there means I am not jailbroken. And just to prove I'm going to open up Cydia, as you guys can see, it is currently crashing, meaning I do not have root access right now. So here's the app right here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it inside of the App Store, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and search up Iconical, because like I said, I downloaded this with Boomhack's Apple ID. And if you guys like all oh, your videos, are you always tell us that you'll never make a video that's paid there's always a way to get a paid app for free guys it is not hard at all I mean there's many different apps that you can use cracked app stores and you can always use boom hacks Apple ID that might take you a few days so here's the app right here if we go ahead and go to select an app after this gets done loading now the first time you open it when you go down to supported apps it's actually going to be the apps you currently have installed and it's going to ask you to scan now for me it took me about three and a half minutes for it to get done scanning guys but as you guys can see it has probably like 28 out of 70 of the apps i currently have downloaded onto my iDevice so as you guys can see, it does have a lot, and there is a lot you can do with this. I mean, if you guys wanted to, you can even set up a password to open up an app, guys, which is absolutely amazing. That is something I always get asked for onto my eye uh, on here on how to uh, like lock apps and stuff like that. So I selected Twitter, something simple to do. You guys can even draw on it, which I'll show you later on that the drawing actually does stay. So, I mean, if you guys wanted to, you could even go and you guys could make a circle app by adding little black black parts to the corner. Or what you could do is you could grab one of those green wallpapers that put circle folders on there. You could grab the greenness, you could put it around the app to make it actually circular. And then, I mean, you guys could just completely go all out with this. There's really no limitations. I mean, you could have circle folders and circle apps if you guys wanted to. I'm, I'm not going to make a video on how to do that. That's something you guys are going to have to figure out on your own. So as you see, I chose a picture of my kitten, and then I did the name, and I did a little bit of a circle on there just to show you guys. And then there's what the lock app does, so I decided to actually lock it just to show you guys that that's actually what it does. So when you go to create the app, it's going to redirect you to Safari. You click on the little click here button, you slide over until it says add to home screen, and then you guys hit add. And then there you guys go. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now as you guys can see, it's going to ask you to open it up. It should only ask you to do it the first time. And then it even asks you to enter in your fingerprint. And then there you guys go. Twitter is now opening. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this with one more app without doing the passcode, guys. So let's go ahead and open this back up again. Now if I go ahead and go through here, as you can see, there are a couple of apps that actually let you do certain things like do certain searches and stuff like that whenever you open it which is actually really cool for instance here's eBay if I go ahead and hit create as you guys can see it can go ahead and do a custom creation uh, search so I'm gonna go ahead and just do my actual logo as you guys can see I selected that and then I turned off the password I had wanted to make sure it was off and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this and I'm gonna go ahead and type in eBay and then I'm going to put the Apple logo because I love the way that looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and create it to the home screen. It's going to redirect us to Safari. I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to add it to home screen. I'm going to hit add again. It's going to redirect us to the home screen. And there's eBay. So if I go ahead and open this up. 
and as you guys could see it instantly redirected me to eBay now if you guys are thinking this is one of those themes that actually open it up in Safari it actually doesn't you see I just closed out Safari I open it up again and as you guys can see Safari is not open so I, I I'm in love with this app right here it's amazing because it doesn't have to use Safari that's why I'm actually making a video on this because I hate the themes that you get from the online that opens it up through Safari but that's gonna be about it for this video guys this is AJ 170 signing out see you guys next time.